there, which means they're way more accurate and they can uh, engage a lot faster since they don't have to go through the call for fire process. But if they get spotted by the enemy, they're probably going to get wiped out. So it's kind of risky. All right, so let's go ahead and do a call for fire with these mortars. So we're going to pick one of the FO teams. We'll do a fire support team. All right. Above the special equipment panel, you will see the support panel here. There are three icons. You want the one on the left. This is artillery. They're grouped by the different type of support asset they are. So we hit the artillery, and this brings up a special panel. And this shows me all the artillery assets I have. We got some uh, Paladin self-propelled howitzers, which we'll get to in a moment. We're going to use the mortars. So over here we got an artillery range to use. Alright, so, call for fire interface. So, one important restriction that should be noted right now is, a fire, unlike shock force, a single team can only direct one fire support mission at a time, instead of being able to use all of them like shock force could. So this fire support team is only going to be able to work this fire support mission, just this one. He can't do any others. However, you can um, assign multiple assets to the same fire mission. You just shift-click on the boxes, and we assign more of them. We'll just do the two mortars. Alright, so then there's different types of targets. We're going to go with point target this time. Uh, point target is going to assign it to a specific spot, like one spot, like a building. We're going to say, hit this building. We'll go over the others in a moment. We'll do... And then, okay, and then you go to mission, and this tells you the type of mission to make. There is heavy, medium, light, harass. Uh, all of those are basically how fast they fire, like how fast they're dropping rounds down the tube. Um, and that's going to dictate how quickly you go through your ammo and all that. Emergency means they're going to skip straight through spotting phase, and they're just going to start firing fire for effect right now. It is incredibly risky. It will probably land off target. You only want to use it in a really dire emergency. And then there's Precision, which we're going to get to in a moment, and Smoke, which we'll also get to in a moment. We'll do those separately. Alright, so we're just going to pick a medium mission for like a nice even rate of fire. And then the next thing you have to take is uh, Duration. Quick is like literally just a few rounds, whereas Maximum they will keep shooting until they are out of ammo. We will do Short. And then Effect, General and Personnel, um, pretty simple. General means the round will actually explode when it hits the ground or whatever it hits. Personnel means it will actually use a proximity fuse to air burst above the target. You want to use general when you're attacking vehicles and buildings and, and stuff like that. Because it's actually going to hit the thing and explode, causing physical, like, you know, physical, like, penetration damage to the object. Personnel you want to use when you're attacking enemy infantry that are out in the open or on top of a building or in, in the woods or something like that. Because then it's going to um, air burst above their heads and will have more effect. We're going to go ahead and do general since we're at a building. And then you're asked to confirm. You can cancel, and there will be no penalty, you know, because this is all, like, the fire mission has not even started yet. But we'll go ahead and confirm. Request fire mission, over. Alright, we're going to go ahead and let it turn go out. Going to go forward a bit. Alright, so these will be going in various statuses. Um, since we're at a lower difficulty level, the firing is pretty much instant with very little spotting phase. We're going to actually see the spotting phase in some other uh, fire missions with heavier assets. Shot! Over! So that was the spotting phase. Usually, um, uh, lower difficulty levels, there's spotting phase is almost non-existent, but at the higher difficulty levels, um, they have to guide the rounds on the target first. And that means that some rounds are going to kind of land around the area, and they're not going to be quite accurate. It's going to take a few minutes for them to get the round on the target. God, and then when the round hits, they go fire, fire for, for effect. effect. Over. Right there, they go fire for effect. So that was a spotting round. Next ones will be fire for effect, and they're actually going to land around the target. If you are the target of a fire mission, and you see those rounds landing around you, and they're, cl they're slowly getting closer, it's probably an indication you want to get the heck out of there, because a fire mission is probably going to hit you. 
You can actually see the mortars out here firing, by the way. So we can actually see the mortars actually shoot their... their you can actually see the mortar go. And as you can see, artillery is not exactly perfect. I don't think any rounds have even hit the building yet. Okay, something else that's important to note is you need to actually have a communications link with the artillery. Uh, we already went over communications links, so it's pretty self-explanatory. you got to have some way to talk to them. Right? You need either a radio, you need a digital communication link, or you need to actually be physically like able to yell at them to um, get them to shoot. So in this case, uh, the FO is very far away from the mortars. So what he has is he's got radio links. He's basically talking to them through the radio net. When you're doing an on-map mission like this, you'll notice that there's two green lines attaching it. One is the FO and then one is the actual mortar system and they're both converging at the target. Okay, so let's do some other types of fire missions. So you notice that this asset has a busy over it. That's because it's currently fulfilling a mission for the other FO, so you can't, this FO cannot call on it. So we're going to go ahead and use, we're going to go ahead and do three paladins. Okay, so here's some other target types. Area target, we actually draw a circle down, and the rounds will land anywhere within the circle. Linear target will be like this. You actually draw, you, just like drawing a target arc, you draw a line down, and they're going to land roughly along that line. Something else worth noting is that you have to have, uh, for a normal fire mission, a normal indirect fire mission, you need to have line of sight to the area that you're targeting. So, like, I can't do... The, the FO's over here, right? I can't put a fire mission right here behind this building because the FO can't see it. That's an important limitation for artillery. So we're doing an area target, so you click once, and then you pull the cursor out, and we draw a circle out. So we'll do that. So artillery is going to hit this whole area. We'll go ahead and do heavy and short. And we'll do it with personnel. And we'll do immediate. You can actually do a, uh, a delay. You can set it to appear 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or 15 minutes later. Those are pretty rarely used. Usually you just use immediate. Request fire mission, over. And then if you go back and look, and I could have probably looked down there, uh, if you look at delivery, it'll tell you, it'll give you an estimate about how long it'll take for it to arrive. Okay, let's see if I can catch up on chat. DP ICB, uh, ICM rounds, if they will be added at some point? Um, it's definitely possible in the future. Can't say for sure. Uh, someone asked about counter battery. There is no counter battery radar in this game. We're not too hot on the idea of off map invisible assets duking it out with each other. We want to try and keep it focused on the tactical battlefield that you can actually see. MLRS is another possibility for a future Roger, fire edition. Roger, request. Out. Request fire mission. Roger, Out. fire mission. Uh, Peter Panzer, I will have to check on that. Not sure. Shot. Over. Alright, so that's firing. That's a uh, spotting phase out. starting. You can tell when they start talking about shot over. Shot. Over. Shot. Over. Shot. Out. Shot. Out. We're eventually going to see land land out. around land. Fire for effect. Over. So the round landed somewhere in this area, so it was a fire for effect. 
once they get the round on there. Wire. It's important Over. to note that sometimes they'll screw Wire up and they won't get the out. they'll never get the rounds onto the target because they're just messing with the fire for effect for the the call for fire. So there's Airburst. Probably didn't do anything to that vehicle, but it definitely scared any infantry that are in the area. Alright, so it's just going to be a lot of that. Alright, some other types of uh, fire missions. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh yeah, this is also a good one. Uh, you see these circles here. This demonstrates um, how capable the unit is of maximum fire rate. You know, how overheated the barrels are and all that stuff. So the more red it is, the slower the rate of fire it's going to have to do. When it's completely red, they have to go to a sustained rate of fire, and it's going to be much slower than their maximum rate of fire. 